All right, guys, so this is going to be list number two. Um, I was going to be showing you my seven best special editions, uh, but I decided to go for the, the more fun list, which is going to be seven albums that are reissues. As I said in my previous video, I'm not prone to buying Duff special editions. Um, I've been burnt a few times uh, through trial and error, but for the most part, I'm pretty aware that if uh, something looks good, it, it more than likely is. Um, but I'm proud to say that with reissues, uh, I, I don't think I've bought a, a bad one yet. And that's simply because the majority of the time I already have the original uh, LP to begin with. So it has to have something um, pretty substantial for me to end up buying it again. Uh, so yeah, this is seven uh, reissue albums, uh, which I think are great. Alright, so at number seven we have Michael Jackson's Thriller album. This is the 25th anniversary of Thriller. Uh, this album's absolutely wicked in content. There's uh, loads and loads of B-sides and pre previously unreleased material, um, as well as a DVD uh, with various videos. Um, the packaging is quite nice, although I do find it a little bit off-putting that they have to slap on the biggest selling album of all time. I find that really irrelevant, uh, but it comes in a shiny slipcase. Which is actually pretty nice. And the disc opens like that. There's Michael Jackson holding the tiger. Uh, yeah, package inside, it's nice. There's nothing particularly uh, amazing about it. But what works in this, this album's favour is the amount of content that you get with it. Uh, like I say, you get previous unreleased, unreleased material. Um, admittingly, a lot of the tracks of uh, artists that I can't stand. Um, Kanye West, he's he's an alright artist, uh, but he he's featured on uh, a mix of Billy Jean. Got Fergie doing a mix of Beat It. Uh, Will I Am? I cannot buy this guy. Um, so I haven't even bothered listening to them, I don't even know if the goes, I can imagine they're absolutely trash. Um, but yeah, there's various artists that put their own interpretation on uh, classic Michael Jackson songs, which is pretty decent. Um, and the DVD contains short films of Billie Jean, Beat It, Thriller, and then there's a, a video of one of, uh, for Billie Jean, which is from a legendary uh, concert. Um, as well as the album, which is uh, remastered. So yeah, it's a decent little album. Uh, I think you can get it pretty cheap these days. I think I bought it pretty cheap. Um, this is one that I didn't buy straight off the cuff. Um, so yeah, if you find it pretty cheap, like five pound, it's a bargain. All right, so number six with a legendary album. Uh, I bow down to this on a daily basis. Um, one of my favourite albums of all time. It's Jimi Hendrix, Electric Ladyland, uh, 40th Anniversary, uh, Deluxe CD and DVD, um, Overhauled album, sounds great, and the DVD is a documentary on the making of Electric Ladyland, and it is fantastic. It has uh, various um, concert shots of the band playing, um, and then it just goes into detail on how the, how the album was made. Um, just a fantastic package. There's a, a little booklet inside, which again goes into detail on how it was made and uh, after thoughts of the album uh, with uh, various uh, post-production, pre-production photos of the album. Uh, yeah, just a great package and the actual package, package itself is really nice. So there it is. Don't know how much this goes for now. Um, it wasn't particularly cheap when I bought it when it first came out, um, but it might be dead cheap now if it is. It's a bargain, so I'll pick it up. All 
Alright, so at number five, we have a strange one, but you wouldn't expect anything less from this band. Uh, it's Primus's Sailing in the Sea of Cheese. Uh, this is the 22nd uh, anniversary of the band's uh, famous album, because it is the album that broke them out. Uh, not, I'll be honest, not my favourite album by Primus. Um, it is a great album. Uh, what's different about this one is it doesn't really throw uh, conventional extras at you, like uh, standard reissues or what have you. Um, this one was overhauled uh, from a sound perspective, so it's five plug on Dolby surround sound. You can get it on DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, I bought the Blu-ray edition, um, and it comes with three extra, three extra tracks, which were unreleased songs. Two of them are live. Uh, and one of them was a studio recording. Yes, yeah, so this is a, a weird release. Um, it, like I say, it's not really aimed at giving you bucket loads of extras. Like I say, the three extra unreleased tracks are pretty cool. But this is aimed at uh, fans who like this, they're, uh, they're into the sound and they like the sound uh, it to be pristine. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of that sort of side of things, but uh, you can tell the difference. There is a tremendous difference in sound between this and the original mix um, and it was uh, watched over by Les Claypool so you know that you're getting a decent um, a decent product. Uh, the packaging itself is really nice, it's a six panel digipack which is really nice. Again as with most reissues it comes with a booklet which just goes in uh, Detailed with various people on the making of the album um, and the thought process that went into it. So yeah, it's a great, it's a great little package. Um, if you are looking for more of the conventional stuff like documentaries and all that, you might be a little bit disappointed by this. Um, but if you're looking for uh, a perfect sounding version of this album, then look no further. Right, so number four we have the tea part is The Edges of Twilight. Um, I only recently got on this band last year and it's through this album and it is fantastic. Um, I went straight in and bought the 20th anniversary of it. Um, pretty cheap price, I think it was about £10, £10 pounds. Uh, it's a phenomenal album, they're a great, great band. Uh, so I just suggest you check them out if you like them. Uh, they've got like a, a gothy rock um, sort of sound going on uh, with this album. Uh, but this 20th anniversary uh, comes with a, an additional disc which has various uh, B-size demos, uh, previous unreleased stuff um, with a couple of BBC uh, radio sessions. Uh, yeah, it's just a great package. Again, comes in a six panel case. Or eight panel, sorry, I apologise. It's eight panel. And again, it comes with a booklet that goes into insights on making this great record. So yeah, if you're looking to get into them, it's just starting here. All right, so in the last video, I panned the band for releasing crap special editions, uh, but I did say there's a rare exception, and it's Slipknot's 10th anniversary of Iowa. Um, if you're a fan of this band, this is an essential buy. Um, it is absolutely rammed with extras. Um, the album was remastered. Uh, it's two CD and a DVD. The DVD comes with a documentary of making this album. Um, I mean, I, I don't really need to say much about ma making this album because it is such a pissed off record um, and it's an interesting insight in uh, uh, what was going through the band's heads when they were making um, the album. So the documentary is great. It kind of has that uh, unhinged, um, edited mess sort of tone, like uh, was found on All Hope Is Gone, but it's a little bit more grounded. And like I say, the interviews with the band uh, just shows that they were off the reds when they were making this uh, this record. Um, the first. CD comes with the album which is remastered uh, and the second CD comes with uh, a live um, 
a live gig that they did. It, unfortunately, it's not DVD. It's just audio, but it's great anyway. Um, I'd pay £20 for this. Easy. Because it is. If you're a fan of the band and you're a fan of this album, go out and buy it. Uh, eight panel. Once again. Three discs. Like I say, there's a booklet that goes into detail on the making of it. Yeah, essential. Alright, so at number two we have one of my favourite albums of all time. A massive fan of industrial metal. Um, and it doesn't get much closer to the origins and with uh, Godflesh. Uh, this is the 2012 Redux uh, 2 disc. The uh, second disc comes with um, unreleased mixes of some of the uh, tracks on the album, um, as well as uh, live tracks. Um, but the, the most appealing part of this uh, Redux is the overhauled um, mix on the original album. Um, it comes in a 10 panel. Digipack, and there's no booklet that goes into detail on the making of the album, it's just written on the panels. So there's a second disc of all the extras, and all these tracks, and all these mix, mixes of tracks. Yeah, fantastic album. Um, not sure how much it goes for, but if you're a fan of the band or you like industrial metal but you've never listened to Godflesh, I suggest checking it out because they are, uh, I'd boldly say, they're the pioneers of the genre. Um, and it's just a groundbreaking album um, and it's a great way to start. So that's number two. Number one, we have Interpol's Turn On The Bright Lights. Uh, this package is a two CD and DVD uh, edition. It's the 10th anniversary of the album, um, and it's very cutely packaged. It comes in a book, um, and it's just absolutely rammed with extras. Um, first disc has the album, second disc has uh, demos and uh, appeal sessions, and then the DVD has um, live concerts as well as a couple of music videos um, it's just a great great package comes in like a book which has various studio and tour pictures I assume previously unreleased and then there's the discs which pop out at the back So if you're a fan of alt rock and you've ever checked out Nepal, then definitely check them out because they're a great, great band. Uh, my band are massively influenced by them. Um, they're just fantastic and um, I don't think it gets much better than uh, with this package. Uh, it's not overly priced. I think I paid about £12 for it. I'm not sure how much, how much it went for when it first came out, but um, £12 is an absolute steal. For this, um, like I say, it's rammed with extras um, and it's well worth checking out. Alright, and that is the end of the list. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, I've given you an incentive to buy any of the seven that I've just listed because they are all top notch uh, re releases. They are out to milk uh, the consumer or the hardcore fan. They generally have stuff to offer. Uh, packaging on all of them is really nice. Um, and yeah, that's it. If you've got any special editions that you you, you like, uh, leave a comment and let me know, because I'm always out to buy uh, the, the newest thing. And uh, I'll see you next time.